short little video on our jet stream. We call it Olive. As you can see, she's undercover. It's been undercover all its life. I'm pleased to say. So she is in excellent condition. And because she's undercover, it's rather difficult to show you everything. Got the blinds down, which would make no difference because we've got the cover there. But uh, There she is. She's just like a 2020 model with the latest upholstery. I put a strip light in above the kitchen units. Got a sink and uh, four burner hob, fridge, a grill and inside the cupboard there is the hot water system so we've got running hot water as well. But the modifications are it's got uh, different pickups Twelve volt pickup there, and two USB pickups there. Now this is all fused in. On-off switch there. We've got two um, aerial sockets here, going to the outside, so you don't have to have wires running through. The bodywork, uh, or route through the window, should I say? There is a panel on the outside with the sockets for the aerial heating duct, 12 volt. Panel here is taken the cushion from the back here and left it so that we got this covered exposed. Now that would normally not be exposed. Let's turn some lights and see if we can make some difference. That's better. And that's quite a vast space. Now, we use it as a drinks cabinet, but of course that used to have the slats in it um, for going across this area here to make up the four size bed. We still have the slats and we can still make up the four size bed, but we're making this modification What we can do is have the bunks, which are the width across from here to here, but you're losing that width. So what we've done is we've made it so that we can draw these cushions out as far as the line there, either side. So it's narrow, narrow in the middle, but the cushions come out to give you a full size 
and I will show you how that works. What we do is take this off, take the cushion off there, literally under here, and there is a tipper that comes out here, which then allows That goes down. So, right, what we have now, and it can take your weight, we've got a full width. Or width bunk. So I've shown you that locker there, which makes that very usable. It wasn't really usable when that lid was all one piece, which went right the way across because it went under the cushions. When it goes under the cushions, you've got to move the cushions to lift this lid. So we've got over that problem. Now, as you can see, we've got two entrance points here, storage. In this one, on the inside you can't see it, but just up there there's an isolation switch. Isolates the 12 volt battery, stop it discharging uh, through winter. And here, we have another cutout which allows you to get to the bunk underneath and that pulls right out which is quite a reasonable size and believe it or not there's still room at the back of this as well so storage space and that fits there doesn't come out This section here has a lot of um, electrics. It has the 240 12 volt charger. In here at the back, I've moved the 12 volt battery from here to there, and behind that, underneath, is where the AC comes in with the circuit breakers and so on we've gained that storage space so that basically makes it more usable for us as I say with the 12 volts there which is wired in separately um, from the main from the rest of the circuitry that runs the TV Um, and so we have the aerial sockets there as well. Original lights, but they've got um, LED bulbs in them now. So that makes a big difference. LED. Put an LED strip light across the top of the kitchen unit and it's made it a very usable little van we've got the heating controls here for the hot air blown hot air system and we have controls here for the hot water system. And that's about it really. So that's the inside of Olive. Hope you found it of 
perhaps on interest. Hope the sound worked as I've just got it uh, in fact. This is what I'm using for recording the sound. So it may or may not be any good. Okay, hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching. And could you please give us a thumbs up? That would be good. And maybe subscribe as well. Most much appreciated. And hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe, you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that, and bye for now.